Hello, my SEOs. My name is Kiko, and today I'm going to help you do some of the heavy lifting for your gym's SEO to help you build your organic traffic and climb to the top of Google. So put down that protein shake because it tastes horrible anyway. This is the sauce brought to you by PosiRank.com. So now you know how to start off with a solid SEO foundation for your site. And this is because you watched my other video about this, right? If you didn't, there's a link down below for you to check out. Your site is optimized for mobile. You have your keywords, you are building backlinks, and you are set up to appear on local search results. So now, what are you going to do? How are you going to build better organic traffic than your competitors? How do you show up higher in SERPs without having to buy ads? Well, you are in a service-based industry, technically a YMYL if you think about it, but that's a subject to touch on for the next video. But this is a perfect opportunity for you to be able to hit all of the criteria for Google's new EEAT guidelines without breaking a sweat. And if you don't know what I mean by that, I made a video about that as well, so check it out. It stands for Experience, Expertise, Authoritativeness, and trustworthiness. These are some of the biggest indicators that Google is using to determine your website ranking. And you can do all of these things by utilizing social media, blog posts, community efforts, and virtual engagements. Number one, showing experience. The coronavirus forever changed the world and fitness industry. No longer could people go into the gym and do whatever they normally did. You, as a gym owner, had to find new ways to find and reach your clients and keep them physically and mentally healthy, even if you couldn't be with them. And virtual classes are an excellent way to not only reach new clients, current clients, and offer new services, but as a means of showing firsthand experience. Not just your client's firsthand experience of what they're doing, but your firsthand experience of how you do what you do, what it's like, and that you know what you're doing. That type of experience created by you for your clients and future clients is exactly what Google is looking for when considering your business to rank higher. Because in the fitness industry, what's good for them is also good for you. Because your clients are literal advertisements of your work, showing your expertise. Now, it's time to build your social media following beyond your local clientele. A large following on social media is not just for national or worldwide companies. Even as a local business, you should work at having a larger reach through your social media to help build your expertise in your community and the fitness industry. Get engaged and make social media stories, not posts, about tips, tricks, and tactics you know for leading a healthy life. Show the importance of recovery centers, spas, and injury prevention. Talk to other fitness experts, doctors, and dietitians. Your social media presence is basically a visual blog for those who don't like to read. Hey, don't get mad at me for that. I don't even like to read the script I wrote for myself, okay? Establishing your authoritativeness. I used to be a personal trainer and I almost bought a gym in January of 2020. Dodge that bullet. So I know you are more than just a fitness center, Pilates studio, CrossFit gym, or pole dancing class. You are a collective of experts that are there to guide and help your clientele reach their goals and live a healthy life. Yes, some of it will hurt, but that's part of the growing process. And it's pretty fun for trainers too. So your expertise needs to be talked about, shown, expressed, and told to your audience via blog post. Blog posts are very effective and important methods to reaching your audience and improving your rankings in Google. This is where most of your backlinks will come into play in building your authoritativeness that Google wants. You need to make sure that you have an informative and helpful blog about you, your industry, what you do, the latest things, and so on. 
linking to other authoritative sources and being linked to as an authoritative source shows Google that you are an authority. See how that works? So while your gym is about sweating and burning calories, your website is about building your authoritativeness. And last but not least, it's time to build trust by utilizing community engagement. You need to go into the community and get involved with public workouts in the park, after school programs, fitness camps, and other community engagement activities. Show that you are more than just about the bottom line. You are really about doing what you said you wanted to do, which is get people healthy. I made an entire video about how gift giving is a great way to build your organic traffic. It is a highly effective way to build your trustworthiness in the eyes of Google by getting the attention of local news networks, your industry, and the community, which all have websites or social media profiles that you will be mentioned in, helping you climb higher organically. You don't have to do the things I suggested, but finding your own way to do free community engagement isn't just helpful for your Google rankings, it's also a tax write-off. So don't be afraid to utilize everything you have at your disposal to help build your organic traffic and get to the top of SERPs. Create virtual classes to show your experience and your clients. Write informative and helpful blog posts to show your expertise, build your social media following through helpful stories to gain more authority, and go out and give back to the community to earn trust. Doing all of these organic things will help you climb to page one on Google, increase your overall engagement, and help you sign more members to your gym. And if you'd like more help on building your organic traffic or want someone to do all the heavy lifting for your SEO plan, then head on over to posirank.com and schedule a consultation with one of us, and I promise we won't make you do a single burpee. Hey SEOs, thank you for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on the next videos where I go more into depth about how you can create scarcity marketing campaigns to drive more sales to your gym. Till next time, my name is Kiko, have a great day.